Hey there YouTube, Sean from Gorange Garage. Uh, today I want to share with you my uh, my litter setup here. Um, I have a three cat house and I'm able to go two weeks without emptying my litter box. Uh, so, you know, a couple years ago I upgraded to the uh, Literal 3 Connect. And I love the online, you know, the ability to kind of monitor it and the, the alerts that you get. Uh, what I didn't like about it is I would only get about three days out of the uh, the bin because now it's got a bin level sensor. Uh, before with the with the Little Robot One, I was able to go about a week. Um, so you know that was really annoying. I didn't like having to empty it every two three days. I also found myself wasting a lot of a lot of bags. Um, so this is kind of my solution to that. So right now I'm able to get about I'm able to get two weeks. I could go longer, but you know that's my garbage cycle right now is two weeks. So every two weeks I I empty it and then I'm good to go again for another two weeks. So I'll kind of walk you through some of the details of it and then uh, yeah, you can decide if it's something that that would work for you or not. So a couple of key features. Um, I've got this grate up here so that any litter that gets tracked out falls through into a place where it's easy to clean up. Um, kind of keeps it off the ground. Uh, I added a ramp here for the cats to get up. Um, most of the time I don't think they use it. They tend to just jump up more often than they, than they use the ramp, but it's there. Um, and then yeah, I'll kind of take this thing apart and I'll show you the show you the uh, the magic so here's the view from the top so you can see how there's kind of a hole all the way through so it goes through um, through both this tray as well as through the bottom of the literal buck I'm um, just gonna be a little bit careful because there's that sensor that sits um, there's a sensor here so you got to make sure that you uh, don't cut around that so you can kind of see how I how I cut that open um, in my case, I think I used a hacksaw. If I were to use it again, I would use a soldering gun and just use that to kind of melt melt it out. That would have been a lot easier and given me a little bit of a cleaner edge. Um, so as long as you don't touch this and you leave enough of this, these ribs so that it's supported, you're, you're good to go. Um, and then same thing here, just kind of cut this guy cut this guy out again left that housing for where it slides over top there but you can kind of see how that looks so when garbage day comes along kind of do that pop that open pull it out grab your bag grab it like that lift it out throw a new bag in and away we go so the other kind of hack I'll share with you is uh, is how I manage my litter. Um, so I got tired of you know lifting up the big thing of litter and dumping it in a small container so I could top up the, the litter robot. Uh, so my solution to that was a 55 pound rice dispenser. So you know I, I'm able to you know buy a big box, the biggest box I can get, the 40 pound box of litter, dump it in here, and then you know but once or twice a week, come do a couple pumps with that get myself some litter, dump it in the litter robot, and then, uh, then we're good to go. Um, you know, so between this guy and the bin, uh, about once, twice a week, I have to add some litter, which takes 30 seconds, you just saw it. Um, as I'm walking by, I just kinda give it, a, give it a couple pumps and throw it in. And then, you know, every two weeks, which is my garbage cycle right now, I empty the, the bag in the bottom. Um, I could go longer, I could go probably four weeks, but I find the uh, garbage bags get, get a little bit too heavy at that point and, and, I'm, at, and I'm most likely gonna, gonna have a bag blow it on me, which, which would be a bit of a disaster. So, um, so I do stick to the two week garbage cycle. Um, I also find that this keeps the, keeps the smell down really well because it kind of contains it all underneath. Well, that's how I manage uh, you know, the litter situation for the three cats in my house. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll throw a couple links up, one to how I built this top piece because I've been using this for, I don't know, six, seven years now to, to keep litter tracking down in my house. And then, uh, yeah, and if you want to teach your cat a, a trick how to high five, I'll throw a video for that as well. So anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, please hit the subscribe and, and uh, yeah, see you in future videos.